All right, super little test in the car park. We'll avoid the puddles and I don't have a helmet, so let's just see. All right, so I wouldn't normally make a video like this and I'll explain why. So as a rule, I don't usually review brand new companies electric skateboards, like brand spanking news. I've made a couple exceptions to that rule over the times. Uh, case in point, Ace Deck, uh, Propel, but all those other little ones, those little, I guess you call them flash in the pan companies, I don't talk about until they've got a good reputation and they show a good product and they show good customer service. I do occasionally make exceptions to that rule and this is one of those exceptions. The reason I've made this exception is because in theory, it's not a brand new company. Um, it's been made up from people from other electric skateboard companies. So they know what they're doing and they bring with them a wealth of knowledge. The company is OMW. On my way. And it looks like a really interesting electric skateboard. And it's got one feature, one feature that is just, it's crazy and it stands out from the rest. But we'll get to that very, very shortly. Today's video is just an unboxing. It's been raining really heavily here the last couple of weeks on and off. And I'm really behind on my ride reviews, I know that. If it finds up today, we'll try to get out for some ride footage. But the full review will be out in about a week's time. But let's unbox the board from OMW. I'll tell you its model name in just two seconds. And then I am gonna have to look at my phone because I've only just been given the password to their site so I can access all the specs. Right, okay, first things. Here is the board. So there is the deck. Here is the included 90 mil wheels at the front. There's four of them. At the back, we've got the gearing for the um, all-terrain tires, which we'll touch on. And this deck is the point of difference. If, bear with me and we'll get to it. Let me something else I forgot to mention. Here is its name right there at the front. Can you see that? I'll tell you, it's called Calvary. Now I'm just gonna grab this board out as usual, a tight as a, you know what? Tight as a timpani drum, I reckon. And I'm just gonna move that slowly, and you might point, you might spot what's so special about this skate deck. But that's all you get. You can rewind and have a look, but we'll get to that very shortly. Right, underneath the board, where are you? There we go. Underneath the board, as I mentioned, here are your 97 mil street tires. Yeah, they're just standard, I don't think. Many people are going to fall in love with these 78A, 97, 52 millimeter contact patch. So skinny and big. They're nice, they're standard. Underneath is where the fun begins. Let me tilt you up. Straight away, these really nice in-house built wheels and tires. Really, really nice knobby. These are, I guess what they classify as their, their off-road tires. They do have some streeter, some street sort of racing tires as well, which you can buy. Uh, here is the charger. The charger is 4.5 amps. Nice big size charger. That's what we'd expect these days for a big board with a big battery. Uh, we've got the cable, we've got the Y tool, got some additional uh, hardware, got a really nice front handle. It's going to attach to the board. And we've got the remote control. So really simple, just a nice standard hobby wing. And I'll tell you all about that ESC in just two seconds. Now, now, back to the deck. Why is it different? Well, it's a carbon fiber deck, but it is flexible. And it's not just flexible, it has three different variations that you can customize or you can purchase to your particular weight or ride style. So you've got flexi, mild flexi, and not so flexi. I can't remember the official terms. This is the not so flexi because of my weight. And the way they've done it is they've got two separate components. They have the deck, which is the carbon fiber, this bit right here, and then slotting underneath it. And again, I'm gonna have to pull this apart, have a look how they've done it. Underneath it, they've got the battery enclosure. And it's all internally uh, segmented, so this, flexes with the deck and there is a, a membrane like a foam rubber membrane in between the two to help with flex but also help with vibrations and dampening it's a really interesting way of doing it will it work will it last for longevity will it have longevity sorry uh, and how it operates i don't know 
they've apparently done like a whole heap of testing on this, like actual road testing with heavy riders, like 100 kilo riders, 80 kilo riders, 60 kilo riders, and they've had zero issues. They are given a lifetime guarantee on the deck. Uh, trucks, nine and a half inches, double kingpin, nothing massively out of the ordinary there. Uh, barrel and cone, and you can see that tail light on top as well, that tail light and brake light. All right, now here is the super unprofessional bit. As I said, I've only just got access uh, to their website, but they wanted me to, to get this up so it coincides with the launch of their website. Um, the board is going on sale, I think it's on the 17th, but you can go and you can look at it right now, which is, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's have a look. So range, let's start at the top really quickly. Uh, all right, Calvary, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it is 44.5 44 inches long. 17.5 kilos or 38.5 pounds, so it's not a lightweight board. Max load 150 kilos or 330 pounds. Range 55 kilometers or 34 miles with a 7 inch pneumatics. Uh, 52 or 32 miles with a 6 inch pneumatics. That's an optional extra. Um, or 85 kilometers or 50, sorry, 85 kilometers or 52 miles with the PU wheels, the, uh, the urethanes. Um, 21700 Samsung 50S cells, 12S4P. Now because of the 50S, it has uh, capacity and it has discharge, which is a, a nice combination. So it's 20 amp hours, 864 watt hours. So that's really nice for a 12S4P. Uh, the motor's 6374, 165 kVs. Uh, the ESC is Hobbywing, it is the 9028. It's the latest 9028, so there are early 9028s and then there's new 9028s. This is the new 9028s. It's got all those little features where it connects to apps. Uh, quick change from miles, kilometers, all that sort of thing. And as I mentioned, there are three different deck types. So when you buy this board, if you go to their website, you'll see you don't just buy the board. You actually choose, depending on your weight, what deck configuration or deck flexiness you want. You can have the HM, which is low flex, MM, medium flex, and the SM, high flex. So that's high flex is for under 75 kilos. The medium flex is, they say, 67 to 92 kilos. Um, and the high and the HM, which is the low flex, this is the, this one is for riders over 85 kilos. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Really, really interesting concept. I don't like. And I, I told them straight away. I don't like this design, but that's easily fixable. Um, I will never, I will never hate on a board because of how it looks. I will only hate on the board of one how it performs or how the company operates. So if this company has great customer service and if this board goes well this could be a really uh, interesting company to watch there are some cool add-ons as well uh, behind me here really quickly these are the headlights you can get um, a nice little add-on feature this will connect to the front of your board the board is pre-wired to take these and you can control this from the remote control so no need to charge these up, super bright as well. The additional street tires look really, really promising as well. So these are your 150 by five. Look at that. This is a really, really nice tire. And again, it's in-house made, it's OMW branded. Can you see that? Where's it in focus? There it is right there, OMW. Really, really nice tire. The other thing I forgot to mention and I wish, I wish more board companies would do this. It comes with a complete, complete owner's manual. Everything from how to accelerate, how to brake, how to turn your remote on off, uh, avoid raining, avoid riding at night, apparently. Uh, how to change from uh, miles to kilometers, how to pair your remote, how to change your speeds. Uh, over voltage alert, what to do and what causes it. Signal loss, what to do, what causes it. Battery alerts, what each one means. It's got a full beginners section. It tells you about the integrated ball lights and how to get the most and how to use them. Updating skateboard settings. Battery charging, safety guide. It's got everything in there. It's a really, really nice little manual. All right, but that is the end of this unboxing of the OMW Calvary. Brand new electric skateboard. It's still raining outside, unfortunately. Uh, so I might just do some shorts. I'll get out there as soon as I can this weekend and just do some shorts to show you uh, how it performs, but we'll do the full ride and review in about a week's time, hopefully next weekend, if this rain goes away. If you want to know more about it, I'll put the link in the description. The website will be live as of right now when this video goes live. Their website will be live. 
I don't know the cost, um, they're not telling me, they're just putting question marks. I think they're doing like a bit of a teaser campaign. I think the fact that they're doing a teaser campaign tells me it's gonna be a very good price point. So go check it out, see how much it is. Uh, I believe it officially goes on sale on the 17th. So go have a look, comment below what you think. What do you think about this deck? Um, I haven't seen this type of thing done before with the carbon and the glass composite with the, uh, the separate battery compartment. It's gonna be really interesting to put the wheels on and stand on it. Um, I might actually do that. I don't need to go outside for that. I might insert a clip right here of me jumping on it or flexing on it. Yeah, that's it. Any comments or questions, chuck them down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. deck is nice, it locks your feet in. whisper quiet the deck is super super comfy these tires are really nice and grippy even in the moist ground uh, the length is a really nice length especially for my height six foot 183 centimeters uh, yeah wow obviously I know I've got no helmet on that's why I'm in the car park I'm not going far I'm not doing anything silly double kingpin trucks feel really nice as well those bushings are using for a really nice carb to them This could be a winner. Uh, stay tuned for the full ride review in about a week's time. Any comments or questions, chuck them down below. The Calvary from OMW. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, and it's got some kick. <laughs>